I'm Maddie Murray, Miss Montana 2017. Welcome to Miss Montana Week, everyone. Your new Miss Montana 2017, receiving a $5,000 scholarship sponsored by Miss Montana Scholarship Program is... Maddie Murray! Spend today in the conversation, in the mirror, face to face with somebody less than perfect. I wouldn't choose me first if I was looking for a champion In fact, I'd understand if you picked everyone before me But that's just not my story True to What do you think, Maddie? How are you feeling? Oh, I'm in so much shock right now. I don't even know what happened. But I'm so excited. It's going to be an incredible year. So Going to Miss America! Go. Miss America! Yeah. Look at this. Do a twirl in that gown. Show it off. So fabulous. Love it. Miss America was one of the most exhilarating experiences of my entire life. I think sometimes when people think of a competition with 50 other girls, you might think that it'd be really competitive, but it really wasn't at all. All the girls and I were so close and we still are so close, we talk every day. To be backstage, there was different times where somebody needed their dress zipped up or a dress would pop open and you'd have to, girls would be running over to help each other, help each other with their hair and makeup during changes. And so it really was everybody coming together to help one another so we weren't competing against each other. So my Miss America competition gown was incredible. I got to go and fly down to South Carolina and design it with Gregory Ellenberg. And it was so cool to be able to see the sketch that we drew out and then actually see it play out in real life, pick the fabric, then change the beading on the back. And when I was on the Miss America stage, it was the greatest feeling in the world. And it was absolutely amazing. Four years ago, I decided that I was going to go and take a medical mission trip to Nicaragua. So we're there for 10 days, and every day we set up a different clinic in a different village. And we administer healthcare, so we um, give away medicine, clothing, shoes, and we have different doctors who come with us. And each year I've actually been able to be a scribe. So I've worked um, hands-on with the doctors. And so going through the diagnosis, writing down what medications we need to give them, and it's really helped me learn a lot. And that's actually why I want to go into the medical field is because from first going there, I realized, hey, this is maybe something that I want to do. So as Miss Montana, one of the biggest things you do is your crown of classroom school tour. So this year I traveled about 35,000 miles across the state, as well as visited and spoke to about 167 different school presentations. So it was absolutely amazing. I really just saw that through giving my presentation, it's only a 45 minute presentation, but I was able to see the impact that that really had on kids. I got letters in the mail from different kids and um, classes, and it was really, really special. I also saw that sometimes the five, you don't always get an hour, 30 minutes to talk to each kid, but sometimes that five seconds or that minute or five minutes or whatever it is can really change somebody's life. And I think that was really one of the biggest impacts on me from my school tour because I was able to see how even the smallest amount of time can really make the biggest difference. One of my favorite organizations that I've been able to work with this year has been Special Olympics. My favorite memory was probably, oh, it's I'm torn between either the Polar Plunge, which was awesome, it was so much fun. We went and jumped in the frozen lake, but State Special Olympics was also really special. I went over to the village and was hanging out with the athletes there and we all did karaoke and it was so much fun um, because I love singing and to be able to do that with them was awesome. In January 15 of my Miss America sisters and I got to go to New York City for New Year's Eve. So we were there for about a week we were able to go to Good Morning America and we were front row 
we were on The View, and we also got to go and make cakes at where the Cake Boss is filmed, and that was awesome. I never, I've always loved baking, but to be able to actually learn how to do it right was so cool, and so maybe that will be my future. Maybe I'll make cakes. <laughs> This year has been the best year of my life, but it's also been the hardest year of my life. But through it all, I really know that I became much more of the Maddie who I'm supposed to be. I've also realized that you don't become Miss Montana, Miss Montana becomes you. No one certain person defines what Miss Montana is, but Miss Montana really molds to who you are, which I think is what it is. To Miss Montana 2018, do not change or conform to anyone else's standards but your own. Stay strong, hold your head up high, um, give your gifts, and remember that you were born for such a time as this. I feel so undeserving and thankful to have been a part of something bigger than myself. This year has been beyond my wildest dreams. Every school appearance, every event I attended, and every person I met has left a lasting impression on me. I stand here this week humbled and changed for the better. Thank you for the chapter of a lifetime. Here's the next page. With so much love and gratitude, Maddie Murray, your forever Miss Montana 2017. Thank you to the most outstanding teen queen, Allie. Thank you for dealing with my horrible dancing and for always being down for an adventure. We made an awesome team and I'm so excited to cheer you on through this next chapter. Thank you to all of those who have supported me throughout this year, family, friends, and strangers. I could never thank you enough for all the love and support. And to the best royal family to ever exist, thank you. Mason and McKinley, thank you for being the greatest siblings. Thank you for going to the gym with me, for laughing with me, even though it's sometimes at me, and for always being there for me. I am so proud to be your sister. Mom and Dad, thank you for cheering with me, crying with me, encouraging me, and never doubting me. I love you forever.